Sit and kill him. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Give me your bed, Hennessy. Give me your bed. Hennessy. Give me your bed. Hennessy. Give me your bed. Give me your bed. Get on your bed. Come here real quick so they can see this. Come in this tunnel. Y'all see that right there? What y'all think they look like though? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all see it. It is that time. You know, Hennessy heat cycle is very long. Why he cycle like 14 hours long? Why he cycle? Draco, calm down. Calm down. For real, calm down. Her heat cycle is super long. Like, last heat cycle was like 14 days long. So I got a little while. I'm about to take her. I might not take I got a schedule for tomorrow to get a Again, like I always tell you guys, get your progesterones early. It don't matter if you're just spending money to spend it and she's not ready. You want to know where she's at. You want an idea of where she is at with her heat cycle. That's why me, if I have two, I pick 10 of them just so I don't miss the heat cycle. That's just the risk and the things you have to do when you're breeding bullets. You know what I'm saying? So I might take her tomorrow, nigga, and I might wait till Monday just to see, you know what I'm saying? Because Last time was 14 days, you know, but heat cycles change. So this one might not be 14 days, it just depends. Um, but you know, here I do good, my son juice. I open him back up and study, you guys. Look at check, get zoom in on real quick, how good he look. I open my son back up and stud. Uh, I open him back up. I'ma probably do the first five spots, 2,500. Then he going back to 3,500. The first five spots for my sofa, I'm sorry, y'all. But the first five spots, 2,500. They ain't going up 3,500. Uh, proven producer. If you go on my Instagram, actually follow my Instagram because Instagram already knew she was in heat. Proven producer, you look on my Instagram. I got all his pups on my Instagram. He done dropped like, I want to say about 10 liters. So he get producer. Got the Frenchies down here. Listen, the reason why I changed them, you remember Hennessy was here and the Frenchies here? The reason why I changed them is because I don't want Hennessy and all this water. I draw it out the best as I can, um, but I don't want her in all this water. So that's the reason being why I moved her to here. So that way she can just stay on her bed and she won't have that much space. Because now that she's in heat, I don't let her go in the back. I don't let her get wet. Because that can throw off that heat cycle. Um, she has not came to heat yet. Princess has not came to heat yet. She should be in heat soon. But she has not came to heat yet. Um, Man, I don't know if y'all in Florida, man, but it's hot right now in Florida, man. It's like 110 degrees. Yesterday it was 110 degrees. Today it says it's going to be 107. So it's really hot right now. But enough with the dogs. I got to go back and take care of the goat. You guys follow me to the back, man. Let me go back and take care of the goat. I got to feed her, give her water, clean her hair, up, give her all that good stuff. I got my sweet feed. Let's go. Man, that girl done bonded so much. Like when I go back there, she's still not completely comfortable with me. But I haven't cut it yet. I'm gonna cut it. I already cut this. I haven't cut that because I'm, you know, letting her just. I don't want to cut it right now. You feel me? I want it to look like a kind of like a jungle out there for her. But I'm gonna cut it down. But I'm not gonna cut it completely. I'm gonna do that actually today. I'm gonna cut it down. I'm not gonna cut it completely. Let me close this gate real quick so she don't run out. You guys know I got Willie. Willie is my uh my turtle. Willie, done, I got to show y'all the whole the, the whole uh, Willie dug. It's so good, man. Willie dug a hole so deep, which I expected of it. But the good thing about his hole is going through like the gate, the bottom of the gate into my neighbor's yard. But you know turtles dig downward, so the only way he got to come out is back up in my yard. So as long as he's comfortable and he's happy, I'm happy. Um. 
Let me get to it to get her all fed. Update on those puppies, you guys. I've been getting a lot of DMs about those puppies. Uh, puppies are currently five days old. They looking real good. I'm not gonna show them today. I wait to the next video to show them, but they looking really, I show them all the time on Instagram. I show them all the time on Instagram. They looking really good, man. Like that litter I'm so blessed with, man. Like I was doing some thanking you guys. And I'm finna tell y'all something I just realized. That litter is considered micro. Juice puppies are considered micro exotics. Anything that got that bulldog looking feature is, is considered to be exotic. And I didn't know this until I just started thinking about it recently, the last couple of days. That litter I just had with Abigail is a micro litter, a clean micro litter. They're not exotics. So always remember that. Those are clear. Those are going to be clean exotics. They're going to be full tail. They're going to be short, same height as juice, maybe even shorter. And they're going to be thick. They're just not going to have that bulldog looking trait. They're going to have clean face, nice, you know what I'm saying? Nice structure, everything. Just like Abigail, but a little bit thicker than Abigail because the dad had a big old huge head. So, um, again, you know, that litter is micro, not exotic. Anything from juice is exotic. But that's why I kept juice because I want the micro exotic and I want the exotic. But I'm definitely going to be keeping a stud from that. I remember the season, I'm going to keep it. Keep, keep it my fault y'all i'm going to be keeping a stud more than likely i haven't decided yet don't really know more than likely though but keep a stud from that because i'm gonna have a clean full tail stud exotic or not exotic but micro and then i have my exotic which is john doe and juice but let me go ahead and get this you can join you guys uh stay right here you need that back there I cannot wait. I cannot wait till I get my 10 acres of land. That way I can have like a little ranch or a little farm because I'm going to be getting goats. I'm going to be getting cows. I'm going to get a horse. I'm going to get pig. I want all that, man. I want like, I've always been an animal guy. So I want like a little farm. What's up, Coco? Coco, what's up, Coco? This got to go in the trash. I got her boy. Coco, come here. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Coco, come here. Coco. Come here, Coco. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, girl. Coco. Come here, girl. She don't want to come to me, but when I go somewhere, she want to follow me. I don't understand Coco. Look, see what I'm talking about? Look, you want to follow me though. Hold on, get it. Oh, let me get that real quick. Let me show them the whole Willie made. Let me show y'all the whole Willie made real quick. Show you guys the whole Willie made, man. Willie made a deep old hole over here in the cut. Willie hole something deep. Look at this guy hole. That boy made a hole. Willie, where you at, boy? Willie come through. But you guys see how he made it? He can't go like, he, so he gotta come back out this way. So I'm not tripping. Look at this girl. Coco, what's up? <laughs> Willie, all right, Coco? Huh? That's how you guys know I've been spending a lot of time with her. See, she comfortable with me. She don't let me touch her just yet, but she's definitely more comfortable with me. And I'm glad on that. But uh, like I was telling you guys, man, can't wait till I get my acres. Can't wait till I'm actually able to have all my animals and able to just take care of them all day, every day. Spend time with them. You know, I'd rather do that, man, than to be out here doing everything else, man. Spending time with my animals, man. That's what I prefer to do. Actually, let me go ahead and grab her hay real quick. Give me a second. I got her new thing of hay. That hay got to go in the trash. Because as you guys can see, the difference in the hay. The hay, once it get old, it, it deteriorates. Too different in the color. This is green. That looks brown. So it's deteriorated. Coco. Go. Come here, Coco.
So this right here is a um, mineral block. You guys know goats need mineral blocks. They need uh, you know, all the minerals and all that stuff. It's essential for their health. So that's what that is, mineral block. I had to give her some different kind of food, man, because she wasn't feeling the other food I had. So now I'm, I'm giving her sweet feed. Like I always tell you guys, ain't no telling what you're going to see on my channel. You know, I'm definitely going to have the dogs. I'm going to specialize in the dog, but I'm also going to have other animals. I don't know why, but she likes to eat off the ground. I don't know why, but she loves to eat off the ground. So I just pour it. Sometimes I just pour it in different spots. Don't go, come here. Go eat. I told you guys she like eating it off the ground. She'll have a whole thing in the bowl and rather eat it off the ground. So that's why I just, sometimes I pour it in different spots. Coco, you eating, girl? Yeah. I'll be getting her a soulmate soon, y'all. Let me get her some water, and then we're gonna go back, uh, go back in the dog. Let me catch you guys next scene. Let me go ahead and grab this water real quick, and I'll catch you guys in the next scene. All right, y'all, so done with the goat. Back in the garage. That's what I had to do when my motor is coming. That's hot, man. It's hot. Give me a second, man. It's hot. Boy, it's so hot. Damn. So, um, I know I haven't did one of the motivational, you know, little speaks in a while. Uh, hey, let go. Calm down. Stop. Stop. But, um, all I want you guys to remember, man, I know I've been getting a lot of DMs of people like, you know, they said, it's not sad stories of, you know, what they're going, they going through and where they starting out at, breeding bullies, how they in an apartment like how I used to be. And you know, that really touched me, man, because it's like, you know, that, that type of thing really touched me because it's like, I know how it feels to be there. I know how it feels to, you know, have to go through that. So for everybody who's going through that same sacrifice, man, just stand down, man, I'm telling you. You gotta have a mentality that things are going to be okay. Things are gonna be okay. Things are gonna be all right. You're gonna make it through it. You're gonna, some people that DM me be like, oh, I want to be just like you, the kids. You know, I get kids from the age of 7 to 15. Oh, I want to be just like you. No, you don't want to be like me. You want to be better than me. I'm here. You want to be here. You ain't going to be You're going to be better than me. I want to buy a dog from you one day. You know what I'm saying? Just a little, you know, motivational for, you know, the kids and the people that's older than me that look up to me. You know, I appreciate the older. You know, I'm young with an old soul. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very mature. I grow up. You know what I'm saying? Early. Um... But I'm very blessed and highly favored. I can't say that. And I just love what I do. Like, everything I do with my dogs, with this YouTube, is genuine and it's from the heart because I love what I do. And it just means a lot to me. So, I guess that's why I grow so quickly because you know everything about me is genuine. But Hennessy is going to rule it. I'm so excited for that. So this is my game plan, y'all. My game plan is to keep... All right, so y'all know I got John Doe. I got Juice. I opened Juice back up and stood. John Doe, uh, I got me one more spot open for him early lock in. Um, I'm gonna have this boy that I'm keeping from this little. Um, and then she's going to roll it. So what I'm gonna probably do is keep a male and a female Rolex litter. And then I have three studs. I have four. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I don't. I know I'm gonna keep a female from that litter. Just because I know that thing. That's gonna be. That's just gonna be crazy. I know it's gonna be crazy because of how she is. How nice size her head is, how small and compact she is, and how big Rolex head is, how nice she is. So I'm hoping to get 
a lot of chocolates, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I know this letter, and I, I'm just being honest, and I'm just speaking on my own camp. I know this letter is gonna be better than the Merle letter. I know that for a fact, it's gonna be better than the Merle letter. You guys will see, she throw me big letters. Last letter, she told me what? Eight puppies, one died? No, eight puppies, two died. Wait, eight puppies, two died. No, no, eight puppies, two died. Cause one, that one was dead at birth, and then the other one died three or four days, three or four days later after birth. Um, but I'm just excited for that letter. You guys know Princess is going to juice as always. Um, we got big things coming for CB Killers, man. I'm tired right now. You guys know I'm up in this litter that five days. I've been napping here and there, two hours a nap, you know, three hour nap, one hour nap. But it's part of being a bully breed, you know what I'm saying? I I, I accept that, you know what I'm saying? When I, when, I, when I told myself I wanted to be a bullet breeder, I know the ends and outs of doing it, you know what I'm saying? So I accept not getting sleep to make sure my dog's taken care of, my puppy's taken care of and everything. So, but they really didn't think I was going to show you guys them, but I'm not going to show them to you. I'm going to wait. But they looking so good, man. They got super thick, super, super thick. I'll show you guys to you in the next video. Um, but other than that, Gigi should be in heat soon. I'm, I'm thinking about taking GG to Juice, but don't forget I told you guys, me and my buddy co-owner. So, I don't know, I gotta talk to him and see what he wanna do about GG. But I, 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 think, I, I think she should go to Juice, is my opinion. Um, Nova should be in heat. Again, you know she went through her first heat already. So she'll be in her second heat in the next three or four, about six months. Um, for everybody keep asking me, my Frenchies are not going to any Merle stud. They're both going to tribes, they're going to different tribes. Both of them are going to trials. Um, no, I would not be breeding John Doe to Nova. Nova's about to be in here six months, you know, five, four or five months. John Doe will not be bred until he's 12 months of age. And he got five, six months before they even, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta get his sperm tested, get him color tested, all that good stuff. Um, but other than that, my son's growing. He's getting big. I'm so happy for him, you know what I'm saying? What he done did, listen. I done made money, and that's why I was, real quick, before I end this video, I want to speak on one thing. That's why I was telling you guys, these males are making more money than these females quicker, because think about it. John Doe's about to be six months. Think about it, do the math. John Doe's about to be six months. John Doe already got seven or eight lock-ins. And he only got seven or eight because people hit me up and be there, they want to lock in, or they want to send the money next week, next year. I don't got time for all that. If you ain't ready to send your money right now when you're dealing with me, don't hit me up until you're ready to send your money, please. Don't hit me up too ready to see your money. That's a waste of time. But think about it. He done made me. Oh, uh, let me see. He done made me what? He done made me close to eight thousand dollars, nine thousand dollars, and he's only six months old. If I would have kept that Merle female, I still wouldn't have seen that until she's about two years old. Because you don't want to breed her to the first heat. The reason why you don't want to breed her on the first heat, because I think the DMs asking me that, because listen. When you bring them on their first heat, they're still mature. Meaning there could be a numerous of things. They might not produce a lot of eggs because they're still mature, immature. So they might produce one egg, two eggs. You might not get the full six or seven, eight eggs because they're immature. Second thing is they might not take care of their puppies. Well, that's not a bad thing because like me, I take your puppies for me, but you know, you don't want to put her through the stress and all that with her being, you know what I'm saying, young. So I wouldn't risk that, that's just me personally. But he done made me seven, what, seven, eight grand already. So that's why I be telling you, know, it's, it's good to get a meal. We're not saying it's good to get a meal. It's good to get both. But if you try to like really see your money quick, what you shouldn't be in this dog game if you're rushing. It, it, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a process. You got to wait. You got to take your time. It's a process. But I done seen money off him already. The murder I sold, I still want to see no money off her. So that's why I did a video telling you guys the insights of keeping a male compared to a, a female or even, you know, just, you know, you get it, you guys get it. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, I love you guys, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, like I always say, uh, I appreciate everybody who subscribed me, we're on the way to one meal. The reason why I don't take it slowly and say 5, 50K, 100K, we on the way to a meal. I aim high, my goals in life are high. Oh, also, we're gonna get a house sooner than later because I got a lot of good news, a lot of good blessings that came my way, so, I don't want to speak on that right now until that's written, until that's in the motion, paperwork wise, signing. But we're getting a bigger house with a lot of land sooner than later. Um, but other than that, everybody's doing good at CB Kennels. Uh, puppies are doing good. Mom's doing good. She gonna be in heat. Well, she's in heat. So her puppies will be starting at 10K. 
Um, listen, you guys, for everybody who feels like my dolls are overpriced, listen, man, first off, you can't put a price on someone else's thing. You can't put a price on someone else's work, them losing sleep, them spending money. Oh, you can't put a price on that. I would never tell somebody, oh, you can, I will, I, you know, that doesn't work that because it is. Bro, you can't put a price on nobody else's sacrifice. Put it like that. So, I know what she produces and I know what the outcome is gonna be. So, if I sell her puppies for, let's just say I say, you know, $10,000 a puppy. It's not just, oh, I'm just want that much. Bro, it, I, it's a lot that come in with my bully breeding, man. Stud feed. Vets, progesterone. Sometimes I, her last heat cycle, her last heat cycle, I spent eight hundred dollars just in progesterone tests. So come on, man. You know, I, you know, I, like I said, everything when it kind of deal with me plays a part of how much stomach is for. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I ain't trying to bank, bank twenty bands, thirty bands. That I'm not doing. Now, if I got a puppy that's worth it, and somebody like him, it's my keeper, then that's different. But just selling for twenty, thirty bands. Now I would never do that because that's just like over overboard breaking the bank type thing. So I'm not doing that. So roughly it'll be ten thousand to max fifteen. Um, if you're interested in getting a puppy and you don't have that much money, you're not willing to spend that right now. Which I understand. Not everybody pockets like that. And I respect that. Uh, Juice and princess puppies will start at about sixty five hundred. They will not be no more than. They start at sixty five hundred and they go to ten k. It won't be no more than 10K. So their puppies would not be no more than 10K, so 65 to 10K. So just have that price range of mine for Juice and um, Princess because again, I got my stud. So I'm putting less money into the prices of the breed. Um, but other than that, you guys, I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. We gone.